Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode of the Galore Technology something something that teaches you how to do things that probably shouldn't or maybe should. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, um, I, I went through some of the tutorials on here on YouTube and I just realized that a lot of the comments say like, yeah, you teach me how to install Red Hat Linux, but so what? Like. You know, like you have to, you step to pay for it. Well, that is not true. You know why? Because all you actually have to do is sign up as a developer for Red Hat, which is completely free. And whether or not you can develop, well, that's another story, right? But you're obviously here, so that pretty much means you want free Red Hat 7.2 to mess around with. You know, granted, you can't use this commercially. But it, I guess, you know, you can really get dig deep and like learn all the good things that Red Hat has to offer. And the way you're going to get free Red Hat 7.2 is actually go to this website called developers.redhat.com. And once you're there, just go ahead and click on register. Um, and go ahead and just register. Then um, after you're done, log in. Here, I'm going to log in with mine. Uh, Red Hat Linux account. And uh, once you're logged in, you can see this area says download. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you just click on it. Do, 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 do. All right, and here it is, boys. The Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So once you have downloaded this, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you how to install this on the developer account because this way you can develop things, and developing is helpful in a way. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but anyway. So once you have everything installed, you, you know. Okay, actually, I probably should show this. Um, once you have downloaded um, the ISO file, which you can see here, all the information is right here. Um, it's Red Hat server. It's about 3.76 gigabytes. Um, all you have to do is uh, download this program called Rufus. That A K O I E. What is all I E? Okay, and essentially download this program from here. It's right here. Uh, once you have the software, go ahead and open it up. Run as administrator. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. And so now this is where you actually plug in a flash drive and uh, add the ISO. Um, desktop. Yep, here's the ISO. Open it up. Um, because obviously I don't have a USB plugged in right now, but I tell you if you did, like it will show up here, and you just click on start, and it will create a, a flash, a, boot, a bootable flash for you, and uh, you can use that to go ahead and try to install. But since I can't really do that and show it to you unless you want me to do it on my iPhone camera, which doesn't seem like a good idea, I have already prepared for you in the VMware workstation. Um, essentially, it's the same thing. All you have to do, this is essentially the same as if you would plug the USB flash drive thumb or from thumb drive or dongle. I don't know why, but Chandler doesn't know that it's called a fucking dongle. But anyway, you plug the dongle in and this is what you should get. Um, okay. Let me make it bigger. All right, so this is fairly easy. It just says either you're gonna install Red Hat and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.2 or test this media install. Um, I like to test this media if I'm using a flash drive, just because it makes sure there's no errors. But since I'm already installing from the ISO directly, that's already on my hard drive. I'm just gonna go ahead and install Red Hat Linux. Okay, press enter. It is really easy, guys. All you have to do is restart the system with a bootable flash drive, and uh, everything should just start booting up. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is exactly how you get a six hundred dollar software for free, legitimately. That is something that people haven't taught, and I think that's important for everyone to know. It's like you know, you okay English. Okay, and there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. United States, not United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that it for useless? Um, okay, date. We got the date. We got the keyboard. We got the language. Security profile. Um, here I usually just like to have a standard system security profile. Um, this is something I like to do just because I don't 
know how to use the other ones and I don't think we'll ever need it. So we can go ahead and select that profile. Uh, install mission. Okay, software selection. There we go. Um, for software, I really like to have um, virtualization host, but excuse me. But uh, for now, we can just have a server with for uh, operating network infrastructure services with GUI because this is really good. Um, it's to sort of learn how to use Red Hat, in my opinion. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do a basic network server because I like that. Um, I would definitely need Java for a web server. I will need MariaDB, which is actually it's a newer form of SQL uh, database client. It's it's actually pretty pretty useful. Um, what else do we need? Um, all right, let's pretend we don't need anything else for now, and just be done with it. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. We're gonna select that. The hard drive that uh okay, alright. Is the functioning done? Alright, so now we got everything Ethernet enabled done. Um is that what we have? Okay, great. Alright, so that's all you have to do. It's fairly simple. This is exactly how you will install it if you actually installed it on uh, uh, regular do, 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 computer. So we're going to go ahead and install it. Uh, I'm going to set a root password. Uh, what shall we have the root password? We shall have cow master. Okay, cow master. I'm, I'm not sure why I just said my password, but I'm going to have to change all my password now. But yeah, let's create a user. Let's call it. Free Linux. <laughs> I like that. We're gonna have the password is gonna be free Linux. Hey Linux. Kids. Don't ever put your password as the same as your username. And never, ever. But you already know that. But you know, just in case, I just say it. But you know, don't just change it to whatever different password. Don't 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 use the same. But I'm just doing it because uh, I can't. No, I can't, okay. Okay, whatever. All right. So, so while it's in, we just have to wait now for Red Hat to install completely by itself. Do 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 do. I'm probably gonna probably gonna cut this part because you know, unless you really want to see me sitting here, waiting. So, yeah, that's what I'm yeah, free Linux. Yeah. All right, so there we have it. It says Red Hat Linux is successfully installed and ready for you. So let's go ahead and reboot this. Oh, alright. We're gonna go ahead and restart it. Hey, there we go. Here's our Red Hat Linux. Whoa, it's looking good, boy. Soon we're gonna have Red Hat Linux set up for free, so that for people who haven't messed around with this, um, they'll know exactly what to do. So, gosh, I forgot the password. Oh wait, it's Cal Master, isn't it? Okay, sweet. Um, ah, okay. Well, okay. We don't actually have anything. We don't have uh, any GUI installed. I don't think um, so now all we have to do is uh, register so we're gonna go ahead and uh, subscription subscription so all we have to do is type in subscription manager register username your name 
password, password. Obviously, I'm not going to type in my username and my password, but essentially, you type in this command line, it will register you. Um, I'll register you with Linux, uh, with Red Hat, and, there, and then you can go ahead and use things like yum install, um, you know, or yum, you know, up, update. So, and that will allow you to use those functions. And uh, the subscription lasts for uh, exactly 356 days. Um, so, after a year, you're probably going to have to re register as a developer and re register your um, distribution. But other than that, you should have free Red Hat Linux. Um, all right, so guys, there you have it. That's the way to get free Red Hat 7.2. So, if you have any questions, or need to you know need any help with uh, maybe install KDE GNOME, which you know Red Hat already actually provides, but I just didn't enable it when I installed it. That's my fault. Um, but uh, yeah, all you have to do is uh, type in the first command that I typed in, which was um, what? Oh. Okay, I have to type it in again. Ugh. Subscription, subscription manager, subscription to do manager register, username, your username that you registered at the developers.redhat.com, uh, and then password, you know, your password, whatever that was, and hit enter and uh, free Linux. All right, boys. Um, that's it for today, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys like, free Linux, which I know everybody does because we're all nerds deep down inside, uh, feel, free, free, feel free to subscribe to me because apparently I can't speak street straight. Uh, okay, well anyway, good luck boys. Now I insert cool in outro, but I'm too poor to actually have an outro video, so well, subscribe to me.